So we're here in the Kalinwald City where they filmed uh, Bloodsport, John Claude Van Damme. Great movie. We gotta find Strangler Bow. Junk. A putrid stench emanates from the remains of this building. You see nothing that would cause it. Hello, merchant? I said hello. A bedraggled old woman looks up from her sewing at the sound of your approach. Clothing, clothing. I have good quality clothing for sale. Ever heard anyone say prosperity is in the walled city? She cocks her head like a dog listening to noise that it can't understand. Prosperity? She sounds it out to herself. I don't know what that means. Well, what's the news? Interesting here? No, nothing changes. Nothing changes. She settles her weight with an audible harumph. Strangler bows the big man now. He's very important, very impatient. You know Bao? We'd love to meet him. Well, he requested a suit, and it took only one day longer than expected. The bastard refused to accept it. She spits. You see your friend Bao, you tell him that he still owes me for my time. I don't sew for nothing. You can't eat air. We'll get right on that. You see that you do. Now what else do you want? Later. Didn't pay for a fucking suit. I don't like this guy already. Hello? Bloody woman? A young woman lies on the ground. She's a bloody mess. Streaks and spatters of crimson crisscross her blouse and matter hair. Judging by the quality of her clothing and the bag on her shoulder, you'd make her out as a student. She's as out of place here as a librarian would be in a game of urban brawl. She struggles to move, but she's clearly exhausted. The dark circles under her eyes tell that she hasn't slept in days. When the woman sees you heading her way, her face hardens. You see a hand slip into her jacket pocket, but as she studies your faces, the fear in her eyes gives way to curiosity. You guys don't look like you're from around here. A hacking cough shakes her, but her eyes remain fixed on you. You either. Who are you? I'm a student at HKU. She glances around watchfully over your shoulder at the buildings looming above her and the windows nearby. Doing some research. Gotta finish before I can leave. You look like you haven't slept in days. That's because I haven't. I've been living with a family in one of the inner blocks for the past few months, working on my thesis. It was bad, but I could handle it. For the past five days, though, I've been living on the streets, hiding from the predators. What happened to the family? A pained expression washes over her face. I'm not 100% sure. The mother, she worked in a dive bar as a hostess. The father was a handyman. They never really went anywhere. Didn't have the money to. I woke up one day and the whole family was gone. Just gone. I squatted in their place a while, but then some people started coming around, eyeing the place. I figured I should get out, finish my research as fast as I could, and then head back to campus. Then I got sick. Little grunts. What kind of research would you do in a place like this? My thesis is about Feng Shui in the sixth world. This was the right place to do it, the only place to do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Etiquette act. Nope. What's Feng Shui? Although she's exhausted and possibly ill, the student's eyes gleam. Feng Shui is one of the five arts of Chinese metaphysics. Before the awakening, it was thought of as a philosophical system for harmonizing people with the surrounding environment. You know, architecture, interior design, stuff like that. But now in the sixth world, Feng Shui has become more than that. My thesis is about how it's actually a form of magic. The whole thing revolves around Qi, the invisible life energy that binds every person and thing together. It's very real here in Hong Kong. Nobody knows the reason why. Maybe it's only real because people believe that it is. The important thing is it's a measurable, quantifiable phenomenon. There's an entire industry that's grown up around it. She has the key in this place. It's wrong. All wrong. The Feng Shui in the Walt City is completely screwed. I mean, look at the place. She gestures at the squalor surrounding you. You can feel it, right? I felt that something was wrong the minute I walked in. Bad key, huh? Key needs to flow. Positive Feng Shui allows that to happen. If key gets pent up and trapped, it goes sour. That's what's happening here. The woman clears her throat, then lets out a hacking cough. The effort requires a moment for her to recover before she speaks again. You know, I hate to admit it, but I could use some help. I started running an, well, I guess you'd call it an experiment of sorts. Nothing conclusive, just a few quick trials to support my hypothesis before I go into hardcore data gathering mode. There are only a few things left to do. If you could finish them for me, I could get out of here. She holds out a crumpled piece of paper. Please, follow the notes on this sheet. Duncan takes the paper from her outstretched hand and examines it, frowning. Just say what you need us to do. I need you to make adjustments to the area's feng shui. My notes will tell you how. The goal is to remove sources of friction and record the results. My hypothesis is that even a small adjustments can have a measurable impact on key flow. If I'm right, it should improve, and life here should get just a little bit better. I'll see what I can do. Optional. Repair the walled city. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my part.
Mission items, data text. The note is a list of repairs, most of them crossed off. There are some left scrawled in an uneasy hand. Sparking wires, trinket man. Broken water shut off valve, lower level. Burning tires past market. Hello, trinket man? Oh, yep, there they are. Sparking wires. Hello, trinket man? The street vendor gestures toward a jumble pile of tarnished chains, costume jewelry, and trinkets on a state of flannel black. Look at these beauties. Very valuable. Very pretty. Show me what you're selling. Ooh, fetishes. A Force 3? What do I have? Force 1. Fart. Man, Force 3 fire. That's all of our money, though. Fuck it. Change my mind. How can you stand this place? He gives you the stink eye. You mean my home? In my experience, you can get used to anything regardless of how horrible it is. It just becomes normal after a while. But this place is getting worse, no question about it. Last 20, 30 years, it's been nothing but downhill. Nothing goes right here. Maybe you can change that, though, by buying something, eh? Yeah, see ya. Let me just fix your feng shui. Wires are sparking dangerously just above the doorway. Isabel, can you fix this? Sure, it's just basic electrical work. I patch the cables in my deck all the time. A quick patch job with some nearby waste rubber leaves the wire safe once more. I'm doing my part. Oh, dragon line. Oh, we're gonna fight. Just go this way. This market stall has been picked clean. It's owner replaced by a pool of dried blood. Jesus. It's up here. Whoop. Spiritual energy. A pile of filthy rags lies heaped on the ground. A man's shirt encrusted with dried blood and grime. A swelling sensation behind your eyes tells you that something is bound to the cloth. A spirit of some kind. You could use your abilities to beckon out of the rags. You fucking bet I will. The air above the bloody rags shimmers. Slowly, something close to a man-shaped coalesces into being. A soft voice echoes it from deep inside. As if it began somewhere else. What is this? The spirit peers at you through eyes as soft as undefined as poached eggs. Where am I? Kowloon, the walled city. His expression changes, moving from lost to found. Still... It raises its hands to examine the blank eye sweeping over dead flesh. How? You don't know what happened? I was pushed out of my shop, hunted through alleys. I, the spirit's mouth widens into a bow. Bound as men, I wouldn't pay them, wouldn't accept their protection. Proud. I was too proud. A cold light flashes from somewhere deep in its throat. They tore me apart, butchered me like a duck, they. It searches the sky, the ground tearing at the memories inside itself as it relives its own death a network of deep cuts opens its waxy skin spattering dark ichor on the ground the cold light within it grows brighter it pulses up the thing's throat and into its mouth forcing its jaw unhinged like a snake's a burning radiance pours out of the spirit's mouth like vomit spattering to the ground in an ectoplasmic flood of anger and despair can you help us help it looks confused lost i can you can get us past Bow's guards and into the walled city, so we can find him. The spirit's eyes roll in its head and shudders, struggling to let the passion dissipate. I... I had a friend. It squeezes its eyes shut as it struggles to remember. A smuggler of animals. He had a space hidden. Secret. Yeah, tell me about the secret space. An entrance in the sub-levels. The spirit clasps its head in its hands. A chute. A door red paint. Numbers. 5465. The entity squeezes its eyes shut and turns away. Five, four, six, five. Five, four, six, five. Enter Lotus Den. I will not do that. Check out this sweet shoot that the ghost told us about. Red paint. Hello, red paint. This one's mine. Step off. Hello? Red paint door? Secret code?
Very productive backtracking. I think we gotta fight those rascals. We're gonna get some shit from Kindly Cheng. Hello? Later. Giant teddy bear. Well, it looks like maybe we have to fight these scamps. That sucks. Hello, Yellow Lotus Captain. A well-muscled and heavily tattooed tribe member looks up from his PDA, bored but alert. Behind him, other Yellow Lotus soldiers take notice and turn to leer at you. You're in the wrong neighborhood, tourist boy. You and all your little tourist friends. I'm a local. I work for Kindly Cheng. Show some respect. The triad soldier sneers at her. That's so? Then you already know that you shouldn't be here. That fossil doesn't run things around here anymore. His hand strays into his jacket and a conspicuous bulge in the fabric. Could be a knife, a gun, or a blackjack. Best to get moving, little girl. Best move before we hurt you all real bad. I'm not going to tell you twice. Deliver a message to Strangler Bow. Risky. Local merchants. The merchants belong to Bow now. Wage drop. Get lost. Fella. Well, now he won't talk to us. Wait, is the super secret door over this way? Hello? You come upon a heavily muscled triad soldier screaming at a bearded old man holding a bleeding nose. The punk wags a cheap disposable cred stick in the old man's face. This? The bright plastic case would look cheerful if it weren't sm uh, smeared with blood. This isn't enough. You've got two options, old man. You can find a way to pay me all the money, or you can drag your bony ass deeper into the wall. Find a spot for yourself there with the pimps and the predators. They should find a nice use for you. Your choice. The old man wells. It's not fair. I can't just pack up and leave. I've been living here 22 years and I... Is this how it's going to be? He rolls his burly shoulders. Fine by me. Ho! Oh! Is he okay? He's out cold. Well, he's not dead. All is not well in the walled city. Oh, put out these burning tires. Fix that feng shui. These tires have been set aflame and have been burning for some time. Waka, why the fuck? No, I gotta put it out. Oh, there's the secret door. What's this? Bucket of sand. Use that to put out the fire. Pour the bucket of sand onto the flames. The flames are stifled beneath the dirty sand and soil from the bucket. Feng Shui repaired. Spooky lower levels. Subway tunnel we're not allowed into, that's fine. A door panel. Enter a code. Five, four. Cancel. I've already forgotten. Isn't it? Five, six, four, five. Mission items. Five, four, six, five. All right. Yeah. I knew it. How is that not the proper code? Five four six five. No, five four six five. Wow. Wait a second. Five six four whoops. Fuck fuck you, spooky ghost. You bullshit me. You bullshitted me. Oh wait, maybe this one. Sorry, spooky ghost. Sorry I was mean. The door has been secured by a series of heavy bars with old motors to retract them. A stain and swelled keypad has been set on the door frame. Isabel can't hack this one. We're in. The door unlocks. Well, I don't. Why would I want this? Hellhounds. Ooh. Summon spirit. 
It's me, Tempest. What do you have? Ball lightning. Oh man, hit both of them with this? Beauty. Well, he got fucking wrecked. Get in there, Duncan. And then don't miss. Mission accomplished. Thanks for your help, spooky ghost. 67 New Yen. Enter the Lotus Den. No, we've got some more exploring to do. You know what? I'm just curious to know what's behind this door now. By which I mean... We don't want to upset Kindly Cheng, so if there's any bad guys in there, we'll just have to reload. Ask Isabel to bypass the panel. Nothing to it. She loads up a program on her deck and effortlessly decodes the door lock. The door unlocks. Hello? Hatch deadbolt. Enter Lotus Den. Oof. We're going to come in through this sneaky shaman way, thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Now, where would I live if I was Strangler Bao? What's a good place to strangle people? Strangler Bao's code. A door with red graffiti. No, no, no. 6378. Six, three, so, so, no, 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 that's not a three. Three, seven, eight. We're in. Strangler bow? Beauty. Hello. Ooh. A large man in his 50s stands waiting, his heavily tattooed arms held in a fighter's stance. His bone structure is heavy. Corded muscle stands out in his arms and chest. In his youth, he must have been enormous. He doesn't talk so much as emit a low rumble. I don't know how you got in here, but you've got my attention. Good, I have a message from Kindly Cheng. A message from Cheng? I can't wait to hear you mangle it, he chuckles to himself. You speak Cantonese so well, but before I hear it, I have a little message for her, too. You tell kindly Cheng that her operations are done in the walled city. Strangler Bao has given himself a promotion. And tell her that if she sends any more errand boys to visit him with another message, Strangler Bao is going to send him back in a box. You think you can tell her that errand boy? Should I write it down for you in English? Hold up the data stick. Just slot the stick, listen to the message, and I'll be gone, okay? It's going to kill him. I don't get to hear you butcher the message, I'm sad. He grabs the small plastic driver in your hand, slots it into the trid player. Kindly Cheng stands erect, speaks directly to the camera. Mr. Bao, as everyone knows, you're a man of swift action. I respect that, and because of that respect, I'll get right to the point. I know where your money is coming from. I know that you have friends working for straw sandals like myself. They have been siphoning funds from their organizations. I know about the noodle shop that you launder the money through. I have tasted their broth and found it wanting. The old one becomes flinty hard. You have been stealing from the Yellow Lotus, glorifying yourself with the revenue that we have earned, and I have files to prove it. Bao's eyes widen as files begin to flit across the screen. Receipts, bank reports, personal communications between himself and his men. Kindly Chen continues speaking, smooth and casual. Now, in light of our recent conflict, you might be wondering why I'm keeping this information to myself. Why I haven't exposed you so you can be dragged from your lotus den by the balls and slowly roasted on a rotisserie spit. In truth, I respect your ambition. You have a lot to learn about candor and loyalty, but I believe that you still have value. I'm still willing to work with you. However, in order for that to happen, we need to come to an understanding about the nature of our partnership. Kindly Cheng steps forward, fills the screen. I own you, Bao. You and all your men. You're my fucking playthings. Dolls to twist and pose as I see fit. I'm in this position because I'm far better at this than you, and it's time that you learned it. Accept what I'm telling you and we can get back to business. Prosper together. But if you continue your little rebellion... I'll mail tiny pieces of you to your children and take their picture as they open the package. She produces one of th her thin black cigars, lights it, holds the smoke a long time. You have 24 hours to return to the fold. If you aren't here licking my heels by then, the information will be released and you'll become food fish. Your choice, Bao. 24 hours. The message winks out. Strangler Bao turns away from the screen slowly. His skin is ashen. Get out. 
He pauses, casts his eyes to the floor. And tell Miss Cheng to expect me at Swift Winds tomorrow. He stands up straight. Tomorrow morning. I'll let her know. Just go. Man, mission accomplished. 